What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from Busch Gardens Williamsburg today and we are invited out by the park for a special preview of Dark Coaster, their new roller coaster for 2023. We're doing a behind the scenes hard hat tour. There's a lot to see and do. Let's go. Neat little photo opportunity spot here. And here's the main entrance. Preview Center does open up Saturday and Sunday, pretty much uh, starting this weekend, going through March 12th. You can see 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. And here we can see what I think is gonna be the on-ride photo center slash gift shop. More signage showing storm warning Four launches, North America's first all indoor straddle coaster, 48 inch height requirement, and over 2,400 feet of track. An incredibly exciting you know, time for us uh, with this attraction, this iconic building. Uh, just, just couldn't be more excited about the opportunity uh, of what this attraction is going to bring to the park. Um, so, what you're going to see today is our official preview center. So, there are things about the history of the ride nods to Dark Castle, uh, which many of you remember. Uh, some behind the scenes look, drawings, etc. How did this all come together? Uh, some new props that you'll see really for the first time, anyone will see for the first time. Uh, we will go into the loading area, which is super exciting, and the train is in the loading area. So you'll get your uh, first official live look at the, at the trains. Uh, all the decals and things aren't, aren't on, and, and I'll preface that for a lot of different things. Of course, very much still uh, in the works, uh, both you know, theming-wise, construction-wise, and you'll get a sense of that. So plenty more to do, but you'll get to see where we are uh, today. And to make sure there's plenty of surprises when you come back and ride for the first time, uh, which, which there will be. Uh, Part of uh, the tour will also go up on a catwalk that will overlook the entire show building. Uh, we do ask on the catwalk in the show building, we're going to ask that there's not going to be any photos or videos in that area. You're welcome to do whatever you like uh, in the preview center, in the loading area where the trains are, and you'll know when you're going out onto the catwalk, but uh, just appreciate no photos or videos up there. but. All of you will get kind of uh, you know, a very exclusive look on, on what's going on up there. So we're excited about that. So um, with that, I will be around for questions. It's Susie Sheely, who many of you know, who is our Rides and Engineering uh, Vice President here, is available. And any other questions we can help you with. But just excited that you're here. Extremely excited about the attraction. I'll save you the time of asking the team when it's going to open. Um, we, we won't be sharing that today. Uh, so it is still, you know, obviously slated for spring and more, more to come on specific dates and we'll announce that as soon as we can. So um, at least knock that, that obvious question out of the way. But uh, with that, excited to, to welcome you in uh, to the queue area in a way that a lot of you probably haven't seen since 2017, right, I think. Um, so yeah, excited, it's snowing, of course. Uh, and with that, we'll get you going. So thank you for being here. Awesome, thank you, Kevin. We just give Kevin a round of applause and our team for helping us out. Um, there was a lot of ambassadors that really worked hard to make the preview center come to life, and we really thank you guys for being out here today to get the first looks at it. Um, at this time, we're gonna go ahead and split you into those two groups. So folks with the gold wristband, if you could just stay here, you're gonna head inside shortly. Um, and then people with the purple wristband, you're gonna follow with me over here, and you're gonna go into the ride area, okay? So, and then after that, we'll switch around. So, thank you guys so much for being here, and let's get started. And here we go. We're walking into the preview center. Snope all over the ground. I had a chance to do uh, Dark Castle many, many years ago when it was actually in operation here at the park. So, it's kind of weird being back here. And now there's a roller coaster in this building. Here we 
go. Some of the behind the scenes stuff as to how Dark Coaster came to life. And here we are. Look. Check it out. So we got CAD drawings. and things like that. Story of Dark Castle. Concept art, drawings, things like that. Looks pretty nice. Lighting in here is pretty cool also. Floating demon-like apparatus. Alright, that's awesome. Can't wait to see that. There's a look at the uh, train right there. Some of the graphics. More concept art here. And attraction announcement plan there. You can see dates when they are planning on doing different things. Key visuals, things like that. Font variations. They really went into uh, detail as to what went behind on this. Even the drinks, merchandise too. The exclusive merchandise, drink recipe, and more banners. So now we're walking into the load station. This is awesome. 
awesome. Train is right there. So the station area here, control booth over there, and ta-da, there's the train. Hallow Screaming Christmas for a while there in November, so <laughs> Hallow Christmas, it was... I'm Susie, I'm the uh, Vice President of Design and Engineering for Bush Gardens and Water Country, and I get to work on these projects, so it's uh, it's been a, a labor of love, if you will, and um, we're excited that we're getting very close to the finish line. Um, I know you guys got to see the preview center, so you kind of probably already know a little bit about what's going on, but basically... Um, once you're in here, you're going to load to the ride, uh, go out into the ride box. We have uh, about 1,400 linear feet of track in there, which you'll experience twice. So if you count the uh, load unload area, I think it's what, 2454? I think that's the stat. So um, it's a pretty long ride for, for you know, an indoor coaster, I would say. So uh, we're, we're real excited to uh, offer that to our guests, and we're very excited to have an indoor coaster that we can experience rain, hot weather, all those wonderful things. So, um, you know, it's really a, a plus for us. We do have a Bolton, which is partially indoors, but this one will uh, be pretty much uh, sheltered from the elements. So it'll be, it'll be uh, good no matter what the weather. Um, height restriction is uh, 48 inches. You guys probably saw that already. And um, it'll go about 36 miles per hour at the fastest, which doesn't sound that fast, but when you're inside a building and the track's doing quick turns and things like that, it's going to feel pretty fast, and especially in the darkness. I think the darkness just adds a whole new element to the, to the ride experience. So, did I miss anything? I think that's it. But uh, feel free to ask questions, and um, I don't know if anybody has anything specific, but I can probably let you guys come back up here now if you want. So I do believe they are doing some testing right now. Saw the transfer table slide over, uh, but unfortunately we're not going to be able to film anything inside that area, but we can see shadows. They're working on it. Alright, so for the final portion of our tour, we had a chance to go into the show building and see all the track, all the transfer tables. Unfortunately, no photos, no video, but I can say they were doing some programming on those transfer tables. And there's a lot of them. Saw them going left, right, uh, saw some of the show elements, the ghosts, things like that. Again, want to keep a lot of it kind of a secret. Um, man, I wish I could have gotten photos. Darn. Oh well. But in, uh, inside, really cool. Uh, track it's way up close to the ceiling and overall I think it's gonna be a good ride I think a great family coaster for this park and uh, yeah that's gonna do it for our tour I think we got to turn in the hard hat I don't want to do that I want to take it home with me
for the guys working. Well, guys, that's going to do it for another video here from Bush Gardens Williamsburg for a special hard hat tour of Dark Coaster, their new 2023 roller coaster. Awesome seeing some of the behind the scenes with the preview center and then going inside the station area, load on load, checking out some of the testing going on, trains in there, and then going inside the main show building. Again, unfortunately, couldn't film, but they like to keep their secrets. Hopefully, we'll be back here for the grand opening. So if you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem, and I will see you out on the Midway.